got him. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is up y'all? Top of the morning to you. It is an early one here today. The sun is still rising. I am still rising. We are actually on our way to a brand new body of water. This is like a secret little spot that is supposed to hold some giant, giant swamp monsters. If you guys remember a couple of videos ago, we went to a swamp and I was pulling out, like we had a lot of fun. I was pulling out some cool snakehead and stuff like that. Hopefully today is like that day, but like 10 million times better. As I said, I'm still waking up here. I'm like completely out of it, but the sun is rising. It looks so cool out. Like there's like some mist. Oh my gosh, there's Bambi. That would be a way to start out the day, shaking hands with Bambi and the forerunner. I'll hit you guys up when we get to this spot though. All right, y'all, we are out here at the water at this brand new swamp area. Jimmy says this is a really, really good place to fish. This is my buddy Jimmy. You guys saw him uh, a couple of videos ago when I dropped my phone in that other swamp. We're going to be doing another kind of swamp challenge again. Let me paddle towards him a little bit. I'm like drifting away here. All right, let's see if we can not play bumper boats. But yeah, I'm taking out this orange kayak again. Again, shout out to Old Town. They sent me this kayak if you guys haven't seen that video. I do have like a pedal drive, like a PDL thing that goes in there, but I don't know, like, I don't know what to do when I don't have it. So there's kind of like a hole in there right now. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a lot of things wrong with this kayak. But what are we doing here today, man? We're gonna do another wild fishing challenge. It's gonna be very similar to last time. You guys have not watched that video before. Every fish caught today is gonna be one point. I supplied Mikey with a couple small frogs of mine, but the rest, you know, he gotta figure it out. <laughs> But let's see, don't drop that phone, dude. Never use a frog that has one hook. It's got this little spinny thing at the back. There's another one of those that you said dangle, right? Like it kind of oh, yeah. just like. That one would buzz because they actually have a swivel at the blade. So oh, okay. Reel it in. Oh, all right. That's the brand new lore to me. This will be interesting. As you guys can see, it's like weedy and like swampy. So <laughs> we're going to go try to find Shrek. Um, you said there's some giant snakehead in here. So yeah, if I catch one snakehead, I'll be happy. But PB. Oh. All right, another beautiful day out here. Another beautiful swamp. Oh my God, that is a giant swan. As I'm like paddling out here, seeing a bunch of movement on the top of the water. Dude, this just looks way too good. Top of the morning, a little like smokiness coming off the water. A little swan swimming around. Holy crap, yeah, those are giant lily pads. Geez, these are the biggest freaking lily pads I've ever seen. So basically, what's kind of going on here, I got this frog on, we're kind of just tossing into all this crap. Um, the water's a little bit high today, Jimmy was saying, which could be a little bit tough. We're looking for fry, which is like schools of babies. Usually you can kind of see those bubbling on the surface. But besides that, I mean, that's gonna be our best bet probably to try to find those. It's just, it's, it, might be, it might be a little tough today, man. He said the water's a lot higher than he's ever fished here in the summer before. He said usually this is a pretty good spot, but when the water gets high like this, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see these freaking giant lily pads. Looks like a freaking sunflower field. But those snake heads could be all the way back there if the water's high enough. Not to mention it also, it's been a little cooler. Like I think last night was actually, it's like the first cool night here. And uh, this morning was pretty chilly. These fish tend to turn off when it gets like too, too cold. I don't know, we're making too many excuses, man. I think, I mean, the, for the time of day and everything, we got a chance. This, uh, this frog is very, very interesting though. So just like from throwing it a couple times, you'd like walk it, sort of pop it. And then if you just reel it in, it's kind of like a little buzz bait frog sort of thing. We need to go to the promised land.
That kind of bird is that? Right there. <laughs> no idea. It looks like a dodo. It's like a seagull hawk. All right, so as I said, it was a cooler morning. We had paddled like the whole distance and we kept like going back to different spots. We like, I casted so many times by this point. We were determined that we were not giving up. We figured the action might get a little better and they might come out more once it started to heat up. These fish like the heat, they like the warmth. Then once all the bugs and stuff starts flying around, they could eat. But yeah, we were there steady casting and kayaking for like about four hours to this point. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, chill. I was not even looking, dude. Okay. Got a freaking hole in my kayak. Hello? <laughs> These are way too big. All right, there's the freaking snakehead. Um, he's gonna go down that hole, bro. <laughs> Ooh. First one of the day. That one, dude, it caught me in surprise, man. It's so fat. I guess that's what you're saying, right? There's so much stuff they could eat here. That's crazy. Well, that took a long time. We were uh, fishing. How long was that? Let me go here. Well, I'm looking at clock right now. It's almost 11 o'clock. We launched at seven. Four hours? For your first bite. Holy crap. I guess mother nature blew the pokey flute, you said, right? She woke up all snakeheads when it got a little warmer out. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we get some more. Oh my God. What was that? Got him. Dude. Dude, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, he's coming right at me now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, this is a nice one. He's gonna freak out. Oh boy. Jeez, dude. Ah. Here we go, y'all. That is the biggest, dude, I, the, the first one was pretty like fat, but this one's even, that one, that, that's like obese. Like just feeling from the sides, I can tell there's a bunch of freaking meat on that. These things are just so crazy, man, that fight was so sick. So what we're doing right now, I'm actually gonna keep this guy. Every time I say, yo, I'm gonna catch a snakehead and then I'm gonna have Kelsey try it. Last time I brought one home, she was like, yo, that thing looks disgusting. I don't know if we're gonna tell her it's snakehead right away, but these things are freaking delicious. I have another recipe too that I wanna do. But we don't have a cooler, so uh, we're gonna figure something out here. All right, we got him on a stringer right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This may or may not work. Um, it's not really a stringer. This is what I did with the flounder that one time. A lot of you guys are like, yo, that gave me so much anxiety, put it on the grippers. And these guys are hardy, so at, sooner or later, he's gonna freak out and death roll and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> I casted it right on top of one. Dude, that was sick. You saw that jump? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, that was freaking crazy, dude. I casted it right on top of his head. Oh, look, he's not even, he's just water skiing. Oh my god. Okay, he woke up. Oh my god. <laughs> he, he was just like so relaxed for a second. Okay. Let's not do that again. All right, hold on. Yeah, dude, that's actually a good one again. Oh, dude, my lip gripper is used, being used right now. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a nice snakehead. They're all so fat in here. Okay, let's relax. Oh, jeez. Yo, he jumped back into the boat. Yeah. Snakehead gone freaking wild, dude. Okay. Holy crap. He jumped out of the boat, then he jumped back in the boat, and then he went through the hole, and then he freaking... 
I, I don't know what just happened. Okay, so we got one snakehead on the stringer. Stringer. Three in the boat now. Yo, that was a really sick eat though. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that on the GoPro. Now I'm gonna steal Jimmy's fish. Oh, we got him. Ah, oh, that might have been his uh, wifey. Oh. That was so sick, though. I just—I literally casted it on his head, and he was like, "Holy crap!" You play like a horse with the giant lily pads. Oh. There we go. Came up on it. Oh my God, I saw the wake. Please come here. So we had one snakehead that I was gonna keep, right? Then I lost that. Then I caught another. And then we lost that one. So please don't lose this. Oh my God. He's gonna shred my line. What do you say? This is the seed to the plant? To the plant, the lotus. I don't know, I, I saw a few of these. They were kind of like sticking out of the ground. I swear, it looks like something out of Teletubbies. We have the snakehead. I swear, I literally lost like two snakeheads that were on. The first one, I kind of like hit this. So we're gonna try not to do that again. And then the second one just kind of fell off. The second one was a lot smaller. This one's a decent size. And yeah, man, I freaking love fishing out of this kayak. This is like the third official time. A lot of people were asking me about this hole here. There's like, I think I said it earlier on, but this is like for a pedal, what do you call it like PDL. This is a pedal drive kayak. So you put that there. I showed you guys my flounder video, but apparently in that video, I didn't even have it set up right. Like the people from the company were like, yo dude, you weren't using that right. So that's a little embarrassing, some first state logic. I'm not using the pedals here because it's super, super shallow. As y'all saw, man, this is Shrek Swamp number two. I think, well, I got four snake heads. Jimmy ended up with a grand total of, what was it, six. So. Again, Jimmy whooped me, but you gotta come to Delaware. We can catch some bluegill, man. Look at this crazy freaking color right here. I just got uh, four different packs from Jimmy. They're sitting in my little thing right there. This is like, I, I freaking love these frogs. Like this was one that I cost him on earlier. Just look at this freaking thing, man. He has a bunch of different ones. He's getting like some shipments in and stuff. But yeah, man, I'm gonna take this snakehead back. Ah, freaking bug. What the heck is it? Get out of here. You see that thing, dude? Yeah, man, we're gonna take this snakehead home. We're gonna do another catch and cook. I know I've been catching cooking snakeheads, but this is special, man. We're cooking up for Kelsey, hopefully. I don't know yet if we're gonna tell her if it's snakehead or not. Yeah, it'll it'll be a surprise, man. It's gonna be gourmet. Chef for State does it right. But yeah, these frogs are crazy, dude. Catching snakehead, it's just it's a good time, dude. Yo, Chef First State back in the kitchen. We got some work to do. Before we get too far into it, I just want to thank you guys for all the support, man. If you have enjoyed this video so far, if you guys want to see more snakehead stuff, let me know in the comments below and also hit that thumbs up button. And also, man, if you guys are new here, if you guys do enjoy the videos, but you are not yet already, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. I'm back home, man. I'm back in my element, ready to chef up some gourmet snakehead cuisine. Now, if you guys have watched the snakehead videos, I've always said this, I want to see Kelsey's reaction to eating a snakehead because a couple of times she's seen him in real life and she's like, there's no way you're like eating that, right? So here's what's going on. She's on the way home right now. The past couple of days, she was up in the mountains with her family and she also took camper. So I haven't seen my puppy. This is the longest so far that I've been without my puppy too. I hope you didn't like forget about me. What better way to be welcomed home than with that beautiful snakehead meal? Now, I thought about a couple different ways that I could do this. I thought like maybe we'd do something very, very interesting. I'm thinking we're just gonna kind of keep it simple, but fire. I don't wanna do, you know, something too crazy, go way too overboard, but I think I am only gonna cook like a small-ish portion of the snakehead. I actually caught a snakehead not too long ago here that we catch and cooked on this channel. So what I'm gonna do, we clean the fish, I'm gonna cook like a small-ish portion. We're gonna put the rest in the freezer for like a different date. You and me are about to whip this thing up and it's gonna be pretty freaking good, hopefully. We gotta hurry up though, she's on the way. I don't think we have the most time in the world here. Chef First State works better under pressure. All right, let's get into this, man. Okay, that is the piece of meat we are gonna be working with here today. We cut some pin bones out of that. It's kind of looks like a Tetris piece. So the fish is in this thing right there. I gotta, dude, I don't know if I talk about this enough when I'm working with Snakehead, but these things are the ultimate, ultimate snot rockets. I'm talking about like so much slime. You like grab the outside and it'll look like you like sneezed in your freaking hand. It's like drippy. It's kind of gross, honestly. But I mean, you know, that's kind of what you're getting yourself into. It's a swamp, slimy dragon snake. So yeah, on the way home yesterday, we stopped to get ice. Now we got this beautiful 
way right there. Hello. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but Jimmy does have his own YouTube channel. I'll link that down below. Shout out again for Jimmy if you're going fishing with me. It's nice to, you know, have a fishing buddy sometimes. Just go out with somebody. I do a lot of solo stuff, so this it's nice to switch it up a bit. A little bit of salt, garlic powder. Hello. Chili powder. Cajun seasoning. I'm just gonna rub all these around there, make them fall in love a little bit. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your guys' favorite freshwater fish to eat? I feel like I was kind of trying to figure this out for a while. Like I like trout. The golden rainbow trout was good, but it was kind of like the trout. It just looked cooler. Crappy bluegill, yellow perch, white bass. Like all this stuff tastes so good, but then I got the snakehead, man. For me, probably, I mean, as far as freshwater fish goes, I think the snakehead's gotta do it. I never had walleye. Apparently walleye's pretty good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, like what should I try? And maybe if I have tried it, maybe I didn't try it the best way. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. But this thing, I think this is almost Nah, man, it was smoking there for a little bit. The other day I set off the smoke alarm. Look at that, that looks like a little mini tomahawk steak. But yeah, the other day I was cooking something and like the freaking smoke alarm, yeah. Just too fire. Who wants that smoke in the kitchen? I'm looking at you, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 ah. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, actually, oh. You see that smoke? It actually smells really good. <clears throat> this thing right here, let me tell you though, man, that might not look the prettiest at the moment. Just wait, but this thing smells so freaking good. Let's like uh, cut into it real quick. Oh, look at, ah, oh, man, that's the thing about snakehead, dude. It is just so white. Ow, that is kind of hot. Like, if you guys have never had snakehead before, it's, like, I, I don't know how to, it, it just tastes like meat. Like, you can't really tell it's fish. I mean, I guess kind of from the consistency a little bit, but it's, the consistency is more like meat, man. It's very similar almost to chicken, which is so weird. <gasps> Look at this pristine quality ingredient. Now, okay, tacos, they can be gourmet as well, right? We're gonna make her. Beautiful little fish taco. It's been a while since I made a fish taco. And I know like last time I made a fish taco with a soft taco shell. A lot of you guys were like, yo, that's a burrito. What exactly is the difference? Can somebody tell me between a soft taco and a burrito? I feel like it's the same kind of flour tortilla. So we're gonna put this dude right there. Should we put, yeah, let's put it all right. All that right there. Ooh. All right, so I threw some rice in there. A little hot sauce on the top. That's a nice looking fish taco. Now I wish we had, you know, some lemon or something, but I think that is gonna be freaking amazing. Now, if I just fold it like this, like, is that a taco? And then if I like wrap it, does that make it a burrito? That, I mean, to me, that is a nice little taco right there. I wish we had a crispy one, kind of like some double shell action. But yeah, so this is pretty much it. We're just gonna be chilling here. This is not like the most gourmet gourmet, the best chef first day has ever done before. If you guys want to see epic, Gourmet. Oh, I'm getting a phone call actually. Hello? Should I get Chick-fil-A? What? All right, so she's gonna get gas and then she's gonna come back here. When she comes back, this is waiting for her, man. Buddy? Camper? 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 Do you remember me? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. You look so big. Hi, baby. <laughs> Buddy. He looks so big. Like he's getting so, like his fur or hair or whatever he's got, it's getting so like thick. <laughs> what are you doing? You got your trout, huh? All right, y'all, Kelsey is now home. She's going to try the burrito. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a taco, right? What do you think of that? Mmm. <laughs> Please don't bite that, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, so we were just talking. It's been like well, a couple days, so we haven't seen each other. She actually liked the snakehead. She says not her favorite favorite. She's like kind of like a salmon kind of person. But look at this puppy right here, man. Are you happy to be home, man? He's getting so, look at these giant big old ears, a big old body. It's interesting too. He's getting like, I don't know if you can even see in this lighting. There's like a stripe of like darker hair. I don't know if that's like his adult coat starting to come on are you, are you turning into an adult yeah man that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today if you guys want to see more snakehead fishing definitely let me know if you guys want to see more kayak fishing if you want to see more catch and cooks definitely let me know as always thank you guys so much for all the support it truly does mean the freaking world to me all i gotta say man so let's keep this going thank you guys for watching see you next video
wanna know just where.